Okay, Mr. Zimmerman. Thank you, Lord. Brian. Thank you for going through all that. First of all, like I said, it's 17 inches right now. It's not one foot. So but I'm not trying to push it to 17. It's 17 right now as it is. I do have plenty of room back there to maintain my shed and the shed. I mean, it was exactly eight inches. The fence that I'm going to put in between is going to have detachable panels because I do want to be able to take it apart when there is maintenance issues. But then we'll see any because it's all stolen back there or anything. But I can take a fence, a panel out of that fence within five minutes, of, you know, the way I'm going to construct it. Uh, another thing is, I put six foot, but actually it's only going to be about four and a half foot. So, uh, actually, I don't know why I put six in there. I just thought a wood fence, six foot. The, the height of the fence, Tommy? Pardon? The height of the fence, you're talking The height of the fence would probably no more be than five foot because I was going to put four foot slats, four foot long, and then put one foot lattice on top, the decorative, between the ships. The reason for that is because I have, well, my neighbor next door has a basketball net right behind the shed, and the basketball keeps coming over my area, and I want to keep it from damaging my shed. And if I put a garden there or whatever, that's the reason for asking for this fence. And about plus, I was going to use that to hide my recycled yard waste can for the ones and everything in my yard waste uh, bags. I was going to put them behind there and wait, you know, before trash day. I was going to stuff them back there where nobody could see them. Right now, I just have to stick them behind there and everybody gets to see them. But that was the reason that I brought this fence into the issue. So, as for the shed, <clears throat> uh, it's about 25 years old, at least 25. I was there when I moved there, so, and I've been there 25 years. I've been a resident for over 25 years. I volunteered for township and in my uh, Hickory Island, because I paint the speed bumps and everything, and I do the cutting out here in Gibraltar Bay to keep our bay clean. So I volunteered with lots of hours for the township and for uh, Hickory Island. Uh, I keep everything clean, nice and neat. I was a skilled tradesman at Ford Motor Company for 30 years. I am now retired. I had to retire because of my disability. Okay, uh, and that's the reason for the shed is the injuries that I had in Vietnam and stuff affects my feet now. I'm disabled. Uh, I used to roll my lawn with a hand with a regular lawnmower. I have to now purchase a riding lawnmower. Also, with the snow we had this year, about killed me. But it's my little snowboard. Now I'm going to have to go and get me a two-stage self-propelled snowboard, which is twice as big. And I just don't have no room for it. I have a 10-foot shed. I got my air compressor in there. I got my power. I got so much stuff in there. Plus, I have a scooter, a mobility scooter that I ride on because of my feet. I need to park that in there, too. And also, my wife is disabled, and she needs a scooter, and all her stuff has to go in there. So I just ran out of room. So to keep, to keep from repairing the shed, I thought, well, maybe let's just make it a little bit bigger, double its size, where I can put all the stuff in there. And then, plus, I have a one-story home. Everything's up in my attic. I gotta keep crawling up in the attic. And but as my age gets older, I don't want to be falling from a ladder down onto the ground, so I want to get all my Christmas stuff and everything out of the attic and put it in the shed so I, I can just walk out there and get it. Uh, another, uh, plus, another thing is the shed will not be shown from the street or anything. It's all blocked from blue. I got four big blue spruce. You cannot see this shed. I don't know if you drove by it, you cannot see this shed. So it's out of sight, out of mind from everybody, so it's not a. a, a a slightly issue thing because yeah. you, can't, you can't see it. Yeah, I think that it shows in this uh, picture yeah. that you took. Right. You can't see the shed. You can't see yeah. the picture. Right. Um, People don't even know I have a shed. Right. So, but anyway, that's one of my other reasons. And uh, like I say, it's, I have to, you know, because of the regular property size, it has to be closer to the lot line than what, what there is for the code. So I can't put it any closer to my driveway 
as you notice, because I only have it eight to ten inches, if I put it any closer, I'm afraid my company's going to be coming in on my driveway. They might take a swipe out of my door or whatever. But anyway, I hope not. But anyway, uh, that's the reason that uh, I'd like to have my shed increased and, and for the fence. Um, as for that, uh, that's about it. That's why I'm, I've just run out of room because I have a small house, a two-bedroom house, a small, tiny garage, and I can barely put two cars in. And for me to get this equipment for my riding lawnmower, I mean, it's like, just can't. Because plus, I'm up on the hill going down to the water. I'm on an incline and going down to the water. I got to walk up and down that thing. That's why I got my scooter plus. I need a, a riding lawnmower. It's just, it's just killing me right now. So after this winter, it did my feet in pretty good because I was out there probably 15 times trying to get all this snow. I had six foot snow banks on each side of my house. <laughs> he probably did too. So you know how bad that was. Um, maintenance, I'll take care of the fence. That's, I do, you know, I'll be taking care of all that. Like I say, that, that fence can come down in five minutes each section if I need to repair it, maintain any size of the shed. That can be taken care of up and flat. Um, and just uh, basically, that's the reason I really need it is because I need to get some bigger equipment for, uh, for my disability. So the, the reason that you're moving in this direction is space. Very that's, much so. That's what I'm hearing, space. Lots of space, yes. Okay. Uh, any questions from the board? So, Tom, uh, the stuff you're going to store in there, again, is like um, you're saying your wife and you have these mobility scooters, so that's what you run around outside in? Correct. And, and, and I have to get a scooter lift, which goes on the back of your car, and that has to also be stored in that shed. Mm -hmm. It's an electric lift. And it's like eight foot wide by uh, six foot tall, so around or some pounds, but I have to make a cart for it to wheel it in. And then when we go to the zoo or when we go somewhere, I can bring both the scooters with us. If I can adjust the board for just one moment. Uh, Who is okay. Your name? My name is Richard Zimmerman. I'm Tom Zimmerman's oh. son. Um, I just wanted to say that. Speaking, Rich, what's your address? Um, I'm uh, at 16050 Holtz Drive in Southgate. Um, just speaking as to my mom's health, um, she has lupus. She lives in chronic pain. Um, I hate her not being able to be able to get outside, get down to the water that she worked 30 years to have, and sit by the water with her books and things of that nature. Um, every time, if we were to do it now with the scooter, the scooter would have to be broke down every time she wants to go out in order to store it somewhere. Uh, their garage is tiny. You can just get the two cars in and, and a little space between the two to get into the vehicles to back up. Um, so I just want to be see my mom be able to enjoy her retirement a little bit on the water that she's worked so hard for. And uh, so this is a something that touches me in the heart. So I appreciate your time this evening. Of course, you'll end up getting the house when I'm gone, so. We'll write that down right Yeah, unfortunately, we're not on video, so yeah, I don't know. I know. <laughs> yeah, she was supposed to be watching because she couldn't make it, but she doesn't feel that good, but she was supposed to watch it on TV, and I'm thinking, now she can't. So. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, but anyway, too bad. That's the main reason that I want this shed, and I know it's, the lot sides are terrible for her to get anything in there, and I tried to do the best I could to try to work my shed over. Like you said, if you could cock it with over to the, make it parallel with the driveway, you're still going to only have like that 17 inches on the one corner and maybe two foot on the other. The only thing, that if I could do push it even more, I could probably make it two foot from the property line and have a, a concrete cutter come out and cut my driveway a little bit, but then when we back out of the garage, we may end up hitting a shed, you know. I, I, I looked into all trying to mm -hmm. do everything I could to try to get that shed back away from the driveway, back away from the cars, away from the lot line. You know, it's just like, oh, this is, this is, you know, when I moved there, I wouldn't even think of all of this. <laughs> so. Yeah. 
Uh, what, what about, uh, see, uh, we always look towards trying to mitigate uh, the variance, uh, the, you know, going from, uh, like, if you, if you required a six-foot setback, we always like to say, and you were at, at a three-foot, we say, is there anything that you can do to help us move towards that six-foot setback? So the, the, the question to you would be, is there anything that you can do to help us there's no way improve that set, improve that never, setback. I can never get six foot. Sit, that would shed would be halfway up my driveway. Yeah. So yeah. So and then the other thing is mitigating the uh, 200 square feet down to 120 square feet. Is there anything you can do? 120 wouldn't wouldn't work for an extra two feet. Wouldn't help me for what I'm going to get for my shit for my ride lawnmower, my scooters, and everything. I could probably get down to maybe 160 with a, with a 10 by 16 instead of 10 by 20. I could probably do that and make everything work, but I'd have to, you know, move the shelves around, whatever I have to do to uh, get that. But I could probably, the lowest I could probably get would be 160 square foot. Because I've tried to put everything in there. And it's just, I'm just, you know, put two scooters and a, a big snowboarder and a big riding lawnmower. I need, I, need, I need at least 160. Mr. Mr. Zimmerman, yes. what if uh, what if you move the shed over to the other side of the drive? I have less. So that well, okay. I this, have less. I have less than what I have now. This this drawing that we have it looks on the drawing like I have, have I have roughly ten foot from the driveway to my property on the other side. At Everybody, the biggest at the biggest roughly, at the at the largest uh, the farthest spot. Yes. So this doesn't really give us No, there's no way I could put it I mean it's a tragedy of worse setback then. <laughs> if it was on the other side. You know, Mr. Zimmerman, as Brian said, that plus, you, would, plus it would be shown because I have all my blue spruces planted there. So if you put that shit on the other side, it'd be visibly from the road and everything. So plus my waste gardens on that left-hand side, on the opposite side, with the harbor and everything, and where you know the walk, garden club walks through and everything. It's she has it all real nice and so I, I understand that, but we just blocked that whole garden view. Uh, yeah, I, I, I am. That's the we're way. just we're, we're trying what we're looking for is to I would, I try would. and give you what you want and yet uh, mitigate okay. the the uh, the variances. Yeah, Brian, on on the uh, um, issue of the fence, we're looking at uh, Mr. Zimmerman said that uh, he would. It's not six foot. It's like four foot or five foot. Five foot, really. So what, what does that mean to us? Well, I, would, I guess, uh, Mr. I, I would suggest, I mean, if we can, if, if we can go to a four foot fence, you would eliminate one variance. That's what I mean, a four foot. And then that way I could still put my yard waste cans behind there and the bags and everything wouldn't be shown. They might, a four foot might just cover those because I have those barrels too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it might yeah, just go for the top. Yard waste, yeah. That's why I would thought maybe I could put the glass on yeah, top just, of a four yeah. foot. But just to just, decorate just, it and make it look nice because people have to look at you know the whole thing is my neighbor's shed right behind mine so and then they have a six foot right see they don't have a camera they have a six foot bush that comes off the side of their shed is it right and and you and there's no way they're going to even see my fence anyway <laughs> well, my con my concern with the fence is uh, them being able to access the rear of their shed. Mr. Chairman, well, that's that's the problem the I have. Question of a fence, yeah. whether it's a wall or a fence, because there could it's not attached to the building. Yeah. So is it a wall? Since it is broken, I it's broken, not a fence. It's, 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 it's a fence. It's it's a fence. It's 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 if it isn't attached, it isn't attached to the building. No, it's my, not understanding, my understanding is a wall. It so doesn't, which would be a privacy thing. Yeah, I don't think your ordinance, I don't view it any differently under your ordinance. It's the same thing. You can't you can't have a six foot tall fence or wall in a street front yard on a side lot. Yeah, as I read the ordinance, that's pretty that's yeah. Right. So we are. Right. Oh. 
correct. And again, just to sort of get back to point, Mr. Chair, yeah. if it came down to four feet, you would eliminate one of the five variances. In essence, that six-foot fence on the side lot line is a variance in and of itself because of the height. Okay, and then, and then also in the mitigation uh, uh, area, going from the 200 to 160, you're saying? Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's what we're looking for. Uh, looking to, looking to... 10 by 16, I would do that, but I couldn't be anywhere. There's no way a 10 by 12, but not, I could not get anything. Okay, so we're looking at a four foot fence and a 160 foot square foot shed. Right, because the shed, that building that I have here, that I wanted is 10 by, that's 10 by 20, 20. that also comes in a 10 by 16. So I could go with that with a 10 by 16. It comes to their, this is a pre-kit that delivers to your driveway and then you put it together as a kit. You know, and I could probably, and I did mention, uh, I looked up, I'm sorry, I did look at uh, the specs on that, and it's nine foot uh, eight inches, it's not ten foot, so there's another four inches I can still bring it away from the property line. So like I said, I could almost get almost to two feet from the property line. That's, that's to the wall. To the wall. Not the overhang. Not the overhang. The whole so the overhang is even closer. Yeah, that's the overhang was the closer, correct. Do you, do you know the overhang from Suncast? Have you gotten what the rear overhang would be? No, I haven't. According to their site, it's, it's, it looks like it's at least eight inches, so eight that inches. would put you, using the 17 inch mark, that would put you nine inches from your lot line. Okay. So the setback is now nine inches. Nine inches. Do we have anything, uh, Brian, concerning water runoff, since this is a gable roof going towards the neighbor's property within nine inches of a line, or is that not an issue for well, us you, to be you concerned? Do your storm, your stormwater regulations, which would be something I guess the engineer would have to look at. If, if it's going to drain towards the neighbor, um, that may be something that they'll have to, to mitigate. I don't, I don't, I believe, and again, I'm not the engineer, so I can't speak in too much detail, but I believe the stormwater regs prohibit draining of stormwater from your lot onto a others. That's correct. Right. And the 20 foot shed, it, it's an 812 pitch, it's over 220 square foot of roof on half of it going towards the neighbors, basically back of their shed. So it, that's just an issue for the water. Uh, engineers to be concerned about not us here on the Board of Appeals, correct? Yeah, I, I would suggest again, if, if, I mean, again, if this were approved, I think they'll have to find a way to, to mitigate that. I'm not sure that would, that would well, Tom, is there a gutter that's put on the, um, is there a gutter that's put along that side to keep the water from your um, neighbors? No, but they can put one on. Which will, I mean, that's, but then you're talking another yeah. four inches right towards. Yeah. So now you're yeah. Yeah, four five, inches five, from the property five. line. Yeah. Well, and you have to drain that gutter somewhere. Well, he can yeah. drain it. Have to oh, it, it it's drained away. He can drain it back to his driveway. Well, you have to clean yeah, it out. Drain back to his. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't. You know, I don't have to put this type this shed up. I can make a shed without no overhang either. That's. Well, you could have the pitch going the other way too. Yes, I could. I maybe could a bottom style, 160. Yeah. Bottom style with no. You know, with no uh, overhang at all. That would probably be the right thing. This is, your, this is your submittal. This is my submittal. Okay. I have a question. If you mentioned the barn style, wouldn't that increase the height of the building to accommodate the barn style? Uh, trusses that you would then be over 12 feet for a roof on a, t on a 10 no, by 16. None of these are 12 foot. This one is. This one with That's the cupola. This 11 foot. With the cupola. This is 11 foot. And that's the cupola. Wow. Well, I'm not going to put it on the cupola. Well, what I'm getting at is $50. Again, it's your drawing, sir. <laughs> Mr. Chair, if I may. I'm sorry. Just, just a reminder, too, that the building height is measured to the midpoint of a pitched roof, so that 11 foot to the peak is actually, by zoning definition, is, is a lower height than 11 feet. Right. Yeah, that, the 11 foot was to the peak. Correct. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so just to summarize, we're looking at uh, a... I, I have a couple more. Okay, Gary. On... This drawing. Can we get that back up? Oh, which question did I put on overhead, flat top? No, it doesn't matter. We all got the same drawing. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're saying 
the one foot dimension is not accurate? No, it's 17 inches right now. Okay, so where did the one foot come from? Did you put that on there? No, that was on the, the site, the plan, the, the survey, mortgage survey, or whatever. So Mr. Callahan put that on there? Yes. Okay. Uh, the 16.5 up by what I believe is your garage. Pardon? Pardon? 16.5. To the left. On the left, the uh, far left side from my house to the yeah. left. Oh, yeah. Is that accurate? I believe so, yes. Okay, so if you put a 10 foot building in there, you'd have six and a half feet? Mm. No? You're shaking your head. I mean, you, you want me to put my shed next to my garage? Would you say I right there? Sure. It didn't have a six foot. I will. <clears throat> it's not possible to even put it there. Why? Is in my wife's car. That's that's not the issue. Okay, that's what I'm. Is it physically possible to put a ten foot shed there? No. For, no, no, it is not because I have my sewer, I have my gas, and my water line that runs through there. So, what am I missing? If I put a shed there, I'm going to be going over the top of all these lines. And they can, they can be relocated. Sure, but yes. Okay. And you're no longer in a, in a front yard? Is that correct, Brian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me maybe just, I wish I would have the thing up. The, the only, you, you could conceivably move it to that side, you'd be in a side yard. The, the trick is the ordinance also has a 10 foot spacing requirement yep. between detached accessory and principal building. No, it wouldn't be detached then. Well, they'd have, they have to be attached, to, it'd have to be an expansion of the garage. Then. Correct. That, that would be a trick, I'm sure, if, if they expanded their garage as opposed to a standalone structure. How big is your garage right now? 20 by 23. I mean, we're talking quite a cost differential there. Oh, yeah. Sure. But that's uh, that's that's a. Uh, I mean, I I, I I can hear what you're saying, Gary, but it's uh, it, I mean, that's something that uh, it's. And that is that the way you go down to the water that way? Pardon? How do you get down to the water? Is it on that I side? Down on the right hand side right now, uh, with, with the north side where it's uh, where the shed side is. Oh, you go down that way. Yes. Yeah, when you, when you move your lawnmower to the uh, to the water side yard, how do you get the lawnmower down there? To the right hand side, the, where the shed side is. That's, that sidewalk's 43 inches. So you have room to get. Yes, they do. It's 43 inches wide. The sidewalk's right down the lot line. Mm -hmm. You know. In that area that looks big enough. Do we have any other questions? Uh, I mean, just, just to summarize here, I mean, here's where we're at. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, Bob. I'm, I'm full. Go ahead. I, I just have had a comment where we have a non-conforming structure, yes, sir. and we're not improving on it. We're making it bigger, and it's still going to be non-conforming. Yep. Yes. Yep. More non-conforming. More non-conforming. Non yeah. Normally, we try to eliminate a non-conformity when we lessen it. Yeah, that was that. That's the intent of uh, one of our intents of the meeting of the board. But then, what we have in front of us is uh, hardships. Uh, he's telling us uh, about the hardships. He's uh, handicapped. His wife is handicapped. So we're we're in a yeah, we're in a situation where that is a handicap. That is a handicap. I mean, whether it means anything as opposed to approving the variance or not. Mm -hmm. I mean that's something that, we have, to, something that we have property. something that we have to uh, address. But he's got to answer whether it's feasible to put it there. Well, it's the answer the question. I can't. I wouldn't be able to do that. No. Well, yeah. I'm not a fix. I don't have that money to do that. So I'm only talking about another fifteen hundred dollars and make it, you know, the shit I really want and the two to do what he was saying to add on to my garage and make it bigger. You were just talking thousands. So so the question is if if, if, if if we were to deny the variance, what would you do? 
just break down the scooter and uh, probably just park it, you know, wherever I possibly could, jam it wherever I can, I don't know. It's going to be hard on me. Jim? Yes. You know, I, I, again, I'm looking at the, this, this, and uh, if it's 16 and a half feet from the house to the lot line at the corner of the garage, and you continue those out, and you have right in front of that, that area that I was talking about here, it seems like you'd have more space in there. Not that it gets, it doesn't show on this that it gets narrower. It, it shows like you'd have more. Aesthetically, it wouldn't be possible because of my wife's garden. Well, again, the garden, the garden is... Yeah, yeah, I mean, and, and, and from a, as a standpoint of having it there, you could put, uh, you know, some types of... Uh, 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 something to hide that. I mean, you know, if, if that were a concern, uh, there would there would be some landscaping that could be done high enough to to not show the. But this is what I'm doing right now. It's completely hidden from anywhere anyway. Nobody can see well, it. It's, it, it would, it's just that we have the setbacks that you are real I, close. I'm, yeah, and that's why I'm trying to go with the hardship for the regular property size. That's all I can do. You know. Yeah, well, I, I try to see everything. Well, it, and that you know. I try to do the best I can. I understand, and it's it's. We have to look at everything that you can do, not just what you would like to do. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So would it, now moving it over there. Oh, Jim or Brian, it, it, it's just looking at it real quickly. Still need variances, I would think. Oh. Oh, no question. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Mr. Yeah. Graham, I'm trying to play around with this on the fly right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, maybe we need to, to I, postpone this to the next meeting yeah. so, so yeah, Mr. Zimmerman can look at it. Given the size, here, let me do this. I put $15,000 in that garden. I'm not about to tear it up. Plus, then I'd have to start building another shed there. That's There's no possible way I could do that because I don't have the money to do that. That's your choice. Exactly. But you might want to postpone it and um, I'll, I'll, I'll vote tonight and go take a look at it. Maybe there's some other thing you can come up with. If you can't, come back and say no. So, I, quit. Go ahead, Brian. I'm just going to have some fun with yeah. the drawing now. So in <laughs> essence, this is, this is about the size of, of what's been shown on the drawing. And just to give you some, you know, feel for the plan. Yeah, I might not. Does or does not. I, I don't. It's a better location. Personally, I, I don't know that you, you gain a lot. I mean, if you, you'd have no. to shave it down. Well, are you going by the the ten by twenty? Well, uh, this is based on yeah. ten by twenty. I don't have a scale. What? Me, so okay, I'm going based on that, so it would be pencil. a little bit smaller. Has still be too close to the fence. Because of that. You can't do it either way. Yeah, you'd have to read well, the yeah. driveway. Still well, I, you know, you'd, but Gary was saying push it, push it uh, west. Yeah. Right there. You know, well, yeah. yeah, attach it to the garage. Well, that's, yeah, that's, but, what, that's what you're... You know, one, one of the problems I'm having is we don't have any good measurements to know what we're talking about. Survey going is pretty inadequate. If, uh, mm -hmm. if I may, I just want to one, one other point, I guess, just to consider, make sure the board is aware. Um, if, if this were to be an expansion of the garage, uh, they would still have to come back before you for variances. Yeah. Be right. an expansion of a non-conforming non residence, sure. and depending on the size of it, it likely would not comply with side yards. Side yards. So, yeah. so yeah. There's, yeah. Still, there's still the potential for some variance issues there, too. So just to, to balance that. With, with what's been proposed. I don't think there's a potential. There is. There would be. Yeah. Unless well, there's at a minimum, it, it's expansion of a non-conforming residence. Yeah. Right. My guess is they would probably also need at least one setback there. Yes. If not. Uh, uh, you are, you are one more thing on that idea is that he still has his rubbish barrels and everything up in plain sight. Exactly. Well, so, I mean, we're cluttering up the yard. Uh, if if the shed is hidden because of the vegetation, why are why aren't the uh, rubbish cans hidden then for the same reason? I don't. It doesn't seem like you can have it both ways. Pretty strong, no time. No, yeah, yeah. What what, you, what Gary I think is saying is you you, you said that the uh, you know that shed is now hidden because of the spruce or the tree. Correct. 
Well, then why isn't the gar why aren't the garbage bags hidden? Why are they out? They're out in the open right now, and I wanted to put that fence there to, to hide them behind the shed. I wanted to hide them, but right now they're out in the open. What? If you're telling me I can't see the shed from the street. Oh, from my, I'm talking about my neighbor's view, of the neighbors looking at it. Not from the street, I'm talking about the neighbors looking at my trash. Which, which neighbor would that be? To the, the north. Neighbor to the north. To the north. Probably to the north. north, yeah. Is that one of the names that we have? Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Zimmerman, in all fairness, just to, to let you know that we have had a, a letter from some of your neighbors which basically said that uh, they're not for the for any change uh, and to, for, not, for us not to approve the variance. That's basically what the letter, you know, the letter said to us. And normally as a board we take uh, we take those issues and we take those concerns of neighbors uh, uh, very seriously. We, we do look at them as uh, being part of the neighbor's uh, responsibility to look at their neighborhood. And so, so we do have a letter which basically said that they'd rather not have the changes done. I understand. Did they give a reason why they didn't want the changes? Uh, well, I don't want to go into the reason. The reason wasn't because of the shed. Uh, that was the reason because of me. It's a personal the, issue. It's a the, personal the, issue. The, the reasons were not, the sheds were not spelled out as a reason. Exactly. I, mean, that, I, I can give you that much. Yeah, that was not the case. It wasn't the shed. It was, but I, but I, it in was all, a personal. In all, in all uh, it's the, yeah. uh, fairness, I wanted to let you know that there was a letter that came out. And I received that copy. And you did receive a copy. Yes. Okay. And it's all lies. Oh, well, I don't know but that. That's, I don't want to get into that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get but I, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to kind of resolve this at this meeting. I don't want to carry it on to another meeting. It's uh, so, it, so if we can carry this on and get some resolution, so we can have a motion, I'd like to do that. Is there any other comments? Well, that is is there any way that that we we can resolve the fact that this can be moved or can't or it's feasible or you know? I'll, are you prepared to go ahead with it tonight and say you can't put it attached to the garage? Um, I can't put it any place but that area right now. I can make it smaller, make it 10 by 16, and I can push it over to like two foot from a, actually with the overhang with that, I have to push it over a little bit more, but that's the best I can possibly so do. So you're willing to let us vote on the issue as it stands, which says 10 by 16 shed, Four foot fence, right? Moving it back, uh, back to the south. How many? What are we talking? Two foot south. What, what are we talking about? Uh, no, what, no, 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 no. I, I think he, I think it was overall. It'd be about yeah, two about foot from the property. Right. Right. Yeah. I can eliminate the fence. The fence is no big deal. If you don't, you know, if you don't like that fence. I don't have a fence there now. We can just forget the fence. I mean, we'll just basically. I need the room for my shed, for my riding lawnmower, my scooters. That's okay, my main so thing. A fence is not going to help me in any which way of trying to accommodate much other okay, stuff. Okay, and I can understand that. So, so where we're at at this point in time then is uh, we're addressing the shed now. Just the shed, not the fence. Not the fence. I and we're talking about a ten by sixteen shed. Right. Moved. What two foot? What what, what are we talking foot. about? No. Yeah, it, make it about two foot from the property line. Right, it's it's 17 inches now. Correct. Correct, and they could move it south. Right. So it would be about two feet two from feet. the property line. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then also still back there. And I'll just have to you know I'll just put the the cans or whatever behind, you know, <clears throat> like I do anyway, put them behind the shed without the fence. It's, I keep everything nice and neat anyway, so. Well, you know, I drove by there a couple of times. I live not too far from there right. anyway, so I live, and, and you really can't see, because of your, uh, the trees there, they Correct. hide pretty right. much everything. Right, everything's hidden, so. Yeah. 
Are, is there anything, other issue that we wanted to, uh, Brian? I, the only other thing that, that I heard the petitioner discuss was uh, the sort of barn style, sort of a change in the look, such that we eliminated the right. overhangs and the pitch went east to west as opposed to north and south. Yeah, that was one question I was going to ask about the, 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 the pitch, the, the reversal of this pitch, uh, running at 90 degrees, the pitch 90 degrees from where you have looked at. Uh, the pitch, um, I don't need an overhang. I can make it where I'll, I won't have an overhang. Still, I'll just I'll cut it right to you the still wall got the and water I'll put the cutter on whatever pitch. I have to do. You still have the pitch. You have I still have the pitch, correct. Yeah, so the water is not going on your neighbor's property. It's going to go on the gutter then <laughs> without the overhang. I mean, I can take the overhang and not even put an overhang on it and just put a gutter there. But as long as the, the roof is, you're going to put a gutter on the back side. On the, so on, on the back side. I'm going to put them on the, I actually will not put them on the front and the back because I don't want water coming down on me either, so. <laughs> Because I need to drain that water away from the front. Yeah. So the setback is going to be two feet to the face of the gutter. Right. Yes, sir. So, what do you, I mean, what do you think? I mean, what, what's your, uh, what's your thinking on this? Well, I, I, I believe, uh, I mean, the, the board is, is in position to, you know, take any one of your typical actions, which would include approve, approve with conditions, deny, or table. Uh, the one, I guess the, the one thing I just would put out there, certainly not looking to cause any delay in this, but there are a number of changes that have been proposed. So if that is uh, something the board would prefer to actually see in plan view, to see those changes, then I would probably suggest that you table it and request the petitioner come back before you with revised plans. Um, conversely, if, if you are comfortable with the changes as discussed, uh, and we can enumerate those in a, in a motion if you were to uh, if you were to approve it. Uh, if you're comfortable with that, then certainly staff will will take the, the motion in the minutes and, and will apply whatever those conditions are ultimately to the project as it moves forward. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I will make this shed two foot from the property line to the end of the edge of my gutter. Guarantee it. Okay. I, um, with with whatever I have to do when I build it, I can. I can even make it nine foot, six inches, or whatever. It's, you know, I've got all summer to do this, and I'm gonna have my help, a couple of my helpers help. Can we you know. enumerate them now? I mean, I have a, but wait, you're talking about yeah, Chuck. Go ahead, Chuck. You're planning on going with the sun cast structure, but eliminating the overhang. Overhang it, or okay. yeah. Stru structurally, from their engineering standpoint, do you know if that can be done? Yes, and, because that's put on. Well, hang on a second. Let me let me finish. Because if they have ways to attach, because this is not a a trust roof, it's an open gable, so you have room to put stuff higher up. That means that the attachment method on the front and back wall. Is it's the same? Holding, is it's holding the same. all the weight of the of the truss right. weight is. Right. So the lopping off the overhang does that does affect that affect the, anything? No. Okay, mm -hmm. but the, I was wondering if they would concede that that can be done to this shed before it's done, but, so you don't have a roof collapse problem or something. Because if their attachment mechanism to the front and back walls is not just a simple toenail attachment. No, I use angle bracket stainless. Okay. All my stuff I do because I was a metal model maker and I use stainless brackets. I don't use any. I don't use nails either. I use all screws. So the uh, the other the other way to be overkill more than it's going to be under. Yeah, kill. the other way would be to run your pitch uh, east and west. You have a 16 foot span there. That'd be huge. I that's, couldn't do that though. That's go, pretty. Uh, go for height but 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 you'd have the the uh, truss would be too high. Actually, you'd have a higher truss. So actually, your your north south pitch is probably the way to go because of the 10 foot uh, right. span All right yeah so you're saying that you can basically not have an overhang and you work back. it out so there's not an overhang correct or i mean it and smidge that shed closer to my driveway too but it could be a cracker box instead of this design right no it's going to look nice when i get done with it and it's you know it's just uh It'd be like a salt box then. 
Correct. We call it a salt box, you I think. A design, salt box design? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So. So you have options? Yes. Okay. Now. I'd like to just kind of summarize it. So where we're, where we're at is we eliminated the fence variance, okay, and then we went to a 10 by 16 foot shed, moving it. Uh, so we have a two foot difference between the property line and the shed itself. Correct. There'll be no overhang. No way. Okay. And uh, what about the water? You're going to put a gutter on the. I can put a gutter. Yeah. Put a gutter on it. Okay. Is there anything else? But there's no, you know, there's no gutters, no water, nothing in, in both our sheds. There's no gutters or anything anyway. All the water yeah. just rant runs in there anyway. So. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm looking at the sheds. I've looked at a lot of those along the Did along you? Bayview there, and none of them have the gutter. No, I don't think well, any shed has a gutter. Well, from, from my perspective, yeah. the gutter's shown in here. The water runs on your own property. Your pitch runs to your front yard, your backyard, yes. same as your neighbors. Whereas the, your configuration is putting half the water from your shed right on your neighbor's back wall of their shed, I see. which is a big difference in the way they are. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, I would put a gutter. I was, was going to put gutters on this anyway because I yeah. Yeah. Just, well, just for the right. water itself. Yeah. Okay. Because I'd like to capture that water, any of the rainwater, into a rain barrel because of my wife's garden. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can we can we get a motion here to uh, to get this thing moved along? Let well, me, Mr. Chairman, okay. I would. Um, oh, cool. Cool. I would move. You want to move? I was go. I go ahead. I had. I would move. We bring case number uh, appeal number fourteen double zero three to a vote. Approve it. Um, based on the irregular shape, the um, small size of the lot, and the physical hand hand uh, handicaps, accommodating that and. Um, with all the changes that we just enumerated. Well, we, we, we should enumerate in the motion the changes. Okay, so okay the, Ms. No. We're going to go with a two foot setback to the. Um, from the north the, property line. From the north property line, eliminating the fence totally, and then going to a 10 by 16 foot shed with a um, uh, gutter on the backside at least. Okay. Uh, to make sure that the water does not run on your, your neighbor's property. Okay. So there's three things. Well, the elimination of the fence eliminates two of the, two of the, of the variances. Yeah. Um, and the smaller size, I think, does help. Do Lori, you fit in better? Yeah, Lori, you, do you have that uh, pretty much? Yeah, I just have an extra one on there for the gutters. So what do you got? What do you got as the motion? I have 10 by 16 to be the south property line. Be the north property line. Eliminate the fence. No need for overhang. No, not no need. Uh, just eliminate the overhang. Yeah, should we mention that uh, the water, the full water should not... Uh, Drain, drain onto, onto the, the neighbor's neighbor. property, the north neighbor's property. That's your greatest negative impact. Yeah, because that's a negative. That's a negative for them. Okay. Uh, do we have it? We have that down. Yep. Okay. Can we uh, can we get a vote? Uh, yes. Can we get a, a, a motion? So we have a motion. We have a support. Support. Okay. We have support. Any discussion? I, yeah, we have the motion yeah. by John. John, John made what the motion. Was the, what was the motion again? To approve the uh, approve case okay. number 14003. I didn't hear that part. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, the motion for 14 double, double zero, double zero three. Uh, we have the motion. We have support. We have any discussion? Uh, with seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Uh, motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Okay, Laura, you got, so you have that all down. We, we have a um, uh, case. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're hoping because we love getting together. What's the what's the debt? What's the uh, thank you. The deadline for 
soon. 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 Whatever. Soon. Whatever. Soon. 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 That's yeah. very old. Well, it's what good. Two weeks. What is it? Two weeks? It should have been today. We talked to our client that may want to be getting the next one. So we'll give her time to figure it out. Oh. Why wouldn't we just go to the next one? Sure. She's late. Because. <laughs> because we're timing. We're people people. <laughs> we are, we're nice people. Yes. We like to come. No, I, I mean, in all reality, I mean, if we're going to have a meeting, we need a submittal yet this week. In essence, the end of this week is basically our deadline. Okay. Given the notification constraints and the fact it has to be in the paper, yeah. and it has to be to the paper a week in advance now, so, yeah. yeah. You know, I, uh, in going over Hickory Island, uh, you know, the uh, the R1F on the one side and not the R1F on the other side. Well, they and never came in. The yeah, association so, did not come so, in. So, well, Martin Park never oh, did come in. They have to, they have to initiate. Oh, okay. But Hickory Island. When John wanted me to put go on the Zoning Board of Appeals, and I said, there's only one condition. We have to do something about the east side of the island. Because mm -hmm. yes. they've been battling us for years. Yeah, the east side has always been the question, but now now we've got s s circumstances that are almost... Uh, yeah, they would have for it. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, no, I, it, Tom can take Mr. Chair, I, I, this is, I mean, this is something we I'm... Go, we don't go out looking for work. We, we've we've discussed not. this, and this is something that I'm definitely going to bring to the, the Planning not, Commission's attention. Yeah, Brian did a lot of work on Hickory Island, and it's not simple. <laughs> for example, the garages on not the street, uh, opening up on the street, we had one common thing all over the place. Well, well, I, the trick of it was it was the right thing to do. Yes. Yeah. If, if you it's guys, a, it's a different set of Anybody that was still on this board, every other month we had a variance request for, for the and East I, River I'm side. not going to sit so there unless we... That was really the, the trigger. That plus the, the some of the residents on that side, you know, assisted and, and were very helpful. Yeah, so, so they the really never committee. came forward. That's what you're basically but, saying. Well, that's it. Yeah. Well, this is, again, though, Mr. I guess just to, to kind of close it out, this is definitely something that, that I'm going to have conversation with the Planning You're Commission about because I, I do think there, there's, at least it should be discussed. There's similarities. There yeah, I do yeah. believe they do have an association. Uh, Home Martin Park. It's yeah, minimal. Home Martin Park. It's, it's minimal it's compared to the Hickory Island Association. Yes. It's, it's, different. It's, it's more of a neighborhood group. Yeah, uh, like an association. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, Brian, um, not to stir up another horn stones, but didn't the, isn't the Planning Commission studying changes to the uh, accessory structures or sheds along <laughs> in, in Grosio? <laughs> now is this time. Doing? No. We didn't have them do. That's not on the list. Well, I, we, I mean, I we, 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 changed it a, we changed it a year or two ago. The chairman was supposed to well, have brought that. They, they have associations, and some of them control whether they can put on a deck on their house and everything would be okay. I mean, I'm just talking about sheds in general, especially along the canal. We don't recognize association rules. The, the accessory building, yes, Section 1911 have. was amended recently. It was updated a year or two ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, at this okay. point, I, I don't believe right. I don't believe that there, there are any... much of amendment? <laughs> there, there were some, yes. Okay. <laughs> Which okay, I Brian. believe were distributed, weren't they, Lori? I don't think John was here on that. Well, okay, uh, my fault. That may be something we have to correct. <laughs> good job, Brian. Yes, good job. Good well, job. Very good. Even, even with not, not you being on TV, we... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> we, aren't <laughs> now. we aren't still on TV, are we? Yeah, we're... Uh, you haven't adjourned the meeting, so... Oh! oh my yeah, we're... Uh, okay, <laughs> do we have a motion to adjourn? Well, so moved. Okay, so moved. Um, uh, Ouch. Meeting adjourned. Thank you. I'm glad we did